All right, so I'm here with my boy, Volpe, where are you? So Volpe hasn't really had a colada before, so I'm gonna show him how this works. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is like almost like a, a double, right? And we have these little cups, so that's for you. It's for me. My boy, Paolo, behind the camera, right there. And cheers, dude. Salud. Salud. Basically, liquid crack. Yeah. <laughs> it's strong. <laughs> It is strong. <laughs> Two sexy men. <laughs> look, look at the wall. Now look at that wall. <laughs> looks good. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks really good, bro. Once you get everything else, the screens in there and the desk set up. It's just no, like, dude, it's literally. Like, bro, that whole side of the room is perfect. Now look at that. It's better like that, right? You not, Now you just need three more parts. Like you've got one quarter of the room set up, basically. It's like, hey, here's a panel we can't use. Yeah. <laughs> The screws were dropped this is, off this and... This is from that, yeah, this... <laughs> let's go, let's go. So today I'm not really talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, how are you, bro? How long, how many months in Venezuela? Bro, nine or ten. Oh my god. Way too much bro, that's why I'm like, I just want to travel now, just want to travel, film. No, it's, dude, we're, we're like one block away. We're gonna make like a regular block, but what are we eating? Cuban food? Yeah, we're eating Cuban food. Cuban street food. gonna take me to one of the spots over here. Yeah, so we're here in South Miami. This is my hood. Uh, I have my office right there. This is Sunset. This is the main strip. And only two blocks away, we got that La Ventanita. It's a Cuban window here at Casa Cuba. It's the restaurant, Cuban restaurant, traditional food. We got like pastelitos, we have empanadas, we have croquetas, and we have lots of Cuban coffee. All right, guys, I feel a little bit of shame that uh, <laughs> I don't know how long I've been making videos, but this is the first time I'm gonna show you guys like Miami culture over here. Like this is so sure. typical in Miami. All right, guys, so this is, this is what you come here for. This is pastelitos. Que mas? And some coffee. This is, this is my star and my lily. La azúcar. We have pastries, we have croquetas, we have empanadas. So, so here- So all like Cuban type empanadas? Or yeah. like Argentinian type? No, it's all pure Cuban, right? So it's a little flakier, a uh, little crispier, as you can see, nice and buttery. I don't even need the glasses now. hot. What's that one? That's the guava and cheese. I'll do that for dessert. Just, it's it's sweet. That's what it is. I like this little thing. First time using it. Oh yeah? Yeah. All right, yeah, we're good there. It's good. It's amazing that you have that little, that little camera does wonders, dude. All right guys, so this is the guava and cheese one. I'm gonna save this one for dessert because it's on the sweeter side. So we're gonna start off with the salty stuff mm -hmm. and take it from there. The meat for me, meat pie. So basically meat pies, right? Uh, you have samosa in India, you have somsa in Uzbekistan. Every part of the world does they similar. They have their own thing. They either bake them, they fry them up. The empanadas can come very different ways. Mm -hmm. I can't get over this olive though. I like that a lot. Dude, I'm roasting. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. I mean, it's Miami. You're right, man. The curveball is the, the olive. You see, my half didn't have the olive, yours has it. Mm. I oh, missed the olive. Look at this, it's falling apart. This is wow. Mm. <laughs> that way, no, I said. Oh, I didn't, look how flaky it is. Everything just comes apart. No, I love the flakiness. Oh, look at look, this. Mm -hmm. Oh, big piece of cheese in there. So sorry, I didn't introduce him earlier. This is my boy Carlos from Miami. He's also Venezuelan. His thing is Volpe. Where are you? This guy travels 
like nonstop all around the world. He was recently like nine months in Venezuela, getting lost in it, really amazing. And uh, you're here in Miami, now you're going to where? I'm back home now, visiting family, and then I'm off to Colombia most likely, right next to Venezuela. Amazing. <laughs> he misses the vibes. He misses the vibes. <laughs> Latin vibes. Esperemos que vuelvan otra vez y con mucho amor y mucho cariño, ¿ok? Gracias. Y que la, el cafecito de esta ventana que es popular en todo Miami. Okay. You ready to go? Okay, yeah, let's go, let's go. Woo! Hot, hot. It's an authentic as it gets, guys. Trust me. This is Miami culture, guys. I'm going to be signing off on this one. David over here, check out his channel. It will be linked down at the bottom. I'm having my third color. <laughs> He's really addicted. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I think now for me, it's it's way more collabs. Every day should be a collab, especially with the office, with the whole structure of the business. I mean, I should be working with people all day. Um, so it's, today we did an amazing collab with him for his channel. Obviously, we're doing behind the scenes to show you guys what goes into all this. But, uh, you know, collabs is where it's at. I mean, you got to always collab with people that have 1,000 subscribers, people have 10 million. It really doesn't matter. The main thing is that you're getting to know each other. You guys are becoming friends, but you're also working together and learning from each other. You know, so that's, that's the key. Like, he's, you know, picking my brain today. I'm also picking his brain about different things, uh, cameras he's using, you know, whatever he's doing in life. I'm, we're learning about each other, right? And learning about this business because we're in the same business, content creation. Um, yeah, I mean, great day. I'm gonna move my car really fast because this guy needs to pull in. But give me one sec. <laughs> so yeah, so Carlos and I were just talking about like, you know, different reels, um, shorts, you know, basically how the, the business is evolving and now everything is going straight phone. You know, this is what everybody wants to see. Everybody's scrolling up and down. So we're creating content obviously for YouTube, but then we're reformatting that content for TikTok. Facebook Reels, IG Reels, YouTube Shorts. I mean, everything's going that direction. Who knows what the next one is? But it's all going this, you know, nine by 16, swiping up and creating content for that. Very short format. And that's it, guys. Mini day is like the first real day in my new office. Just setting up, right? I'm super excited, super happy. Got the first thing up, the most important thing, the one million subs, the play button. But, you know, over the next week, two weeks, we're gonna set everything up all the computers, TV, I'm super pumped. This is how it's gonna be from now on. We're gonna be doing content with lots of different people, different creators, I'm inviting anybody that's in Miami that wants to create content with me. You can come here to my office, we can go eat somewhere around Miami. I just wanna create content and work with more people.